On first viewing, an outsider would not necessarily guess that Jason Swain was a basketball player. Well under the seven foot mark, one associates with the sport, and with a muscular build, he looks to the untrained eye more like a footballer. The key though is that Jason's position is that of a guard, whose role within the team is to initiate the attacking moves and provide the taller men with the shooting opportunities. Each year the standards of basketball is getting better in England. And, you know, you have to keep running and especially in my position, your endurance is very important. Not so for the big guys who get banged around a lot, it's more muscle. For me, you have to be able to keep running and stuff like that. So mostly it's a lot of aerobic work that goes into your summer training. I say everyone thinks them have been uh, seven foot players, all of them, but I mean, we have five foot eight, six foot, like Jason, six foot one players. So they're a combination of speed and power, all of them, but in different ways. You know, the bigger fellas have a lot of strength, aren't so fast, but we need to make them quick over short distances. And the, uh, the lighter guards who do a little more problem in ball handling and shooting the ball, we make them quick and strong and powerful in Jason's case. He needs to be, still needs to be strong, but he has to be, have a lot of speed and a lot of quickness around the court. Regular visits to the weights room is the staple diet for a basketball player. The way in which these weights are used is the key. The exercises employed by Jason are concentrated specifically for areas of the body that perhaps only basketball players alone need to develop so acutely. It's all about uh, conductive strength. I mean, it's got to be for a reason what you're doing. You know, you need strength in your legs because you need to be able to slide and guard people. You need strength in, in your triceps because you need to be able to shoot. You know, you need different kind of strength. Mostly it's balance and strength like the plyometric strength that you need, not necessarily being able to lift loads of weights because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't want to be weightlifters, we want to be basketball players. OK, we get Jason to do this one, so the players are leaning on him, especially around the post. Not so much for Jason, more for the big guys, but it will happen to him. He needs to be very strong in the shoulder to be able to take the weight of them leaning on him and push them away again, <clears throat> obviously without fouling them, but he needs the strength in the shoulder there just to take the weight so he doesn't get fatigued during the game of people constantly pushing him leaning on him, yeah, tiring him out that way, just wearing him down. There's a lot of continuous movement in basketball. The heart and lungs will be working at quite a high level for the whole duration of a game, but there is also the ability to sprint, change direction, have coordination and so on that you don't see in many other sports. So it's a, it's a team sport with multiple sprints, but with an element of stamina built in as well, but with the need for explosive power to jump high, to get to the basket, to put the ball in successfully, to reach passes that you don't find in other team sports such as soccer, um, hockey and, and rugby and so on. The basketball season runs pretty much alongside that of football, with the playoffs extending it well into May. The player therefore needs to prepare for a full nine month slog and it's the stamina building work in the summer that will reap its rewards during the campaign. It's a long season and, you know, basketball is a tough game. It's a lot of endurance, it's a lot of weight on your bones and stuff. So it's just, I mean, this is to prepare me for the season. And once I get into the season, I'm still going to keep lifting. But this really is to, you know, get me strong. And it, I know players that I've lifted all through the season and it stood them in good stead towards the end of the season. They've still, they've still felt ready to go. Well, we've increased his aerobic exercise during the summer months. I think what he's done in the past, really, is just play a few games a week. With, with fellow players or with, with friends and just to keep sharp that way. Well, this time we've really got him on the bike, we've got him in the pool, we've got him doing some treadmill work and some outdoor cycle work, which is, he's got himself, and, um, and working on it that way. And working on specifically on his heart rate on the bikes in the main time, giving him half an hour sessions, really lifting his heart rate um, a step at a time on the bikes, lifting up the levels to simulate what he's going to do on court, where he runs out, his heart rate's going to get higher and higher, and then he's going to have to stop and reduce his heart rate very quickly in order to recover. So we put the level up high and then drop it down low to simulate that activity so his heart can start getting used to it. In the last few years, the profile of basketball in this country has increased. Consequently, the standard of the players is rising, as better quality imports are being brought over from the States. 
The pressure on homegrown talent like Jason is therefore intensifying and he's responding to the challenge. I don't think I was lacking much. I had a, had a good year last year when I got the chances to play and uh, it's just confidence and uh, I'd be a lot more confident in myself if, if I knew I was in the best shape I could be, not necessarily in in great shape because I feel last year I was in good shape but not what I could be and I feel I owe it to myself to get in that shape in order to see what can happen. Oh, Jason, I mean, he's got great ability. I mean, he's an England international with many caps so far and he's only 23. So he, he had great ability but he's just perhaps a little bit slow around court which he'd admit to himself. I mean, he, he, he's, he's, just, he's probably a bit deceptive because he, I mean, he isn't too slow but for his size, I mean, he could be a little bit quicker. He's perhaps carrying a little bit, maybe half a stone too much weight than he'd like. He admitted that himself, and um, so we're really working on, on leaning him down a little bit, making him a little bit stronger, so that towards the end of the game he wasn't getting so tired, because that's when we really need him most. Jason's a big shooter, he's got very good shooting percentage, so at the end of the game we need him in there and we need him knocking down the threes. Long range shooting is Jason's speciality, and with three points for a basket shot from outside the three point zone, his success rate can decide a match. The skill requires a very special combination, with the strength to propel the ball from range consistently and the coordination and balance to send it accurately through the hoop. Jason's working on his triceps. You can see he's trying to keep his elbow tucked in so that when he's shooting, his arms get tired. But he still keeps that tucked in with a nice, strong tricep muscle. Especially when he's shooting. If it's not straight, the shot could go anywhere. So it's really working at speed to keep endurance in his muscle and to keep it nice and strong. So he gets a good shot every time. A lot of people say, oh, his best asset is his three-point shooting, which, yeah, it's a natural asset, but it has to be worked on every day, and I have to be determined to work on that. So my determination has brought me through to this point on, and, and as long as I remember that and I don't take things for granted, I'm sure I'll, I'll do very well. He's prime now, you know, he's, he's going to get stronger, he's going to get smarter around the court and with a bit of fitness as well. You know, he's a good player, he knows he's a good player, we all know he's a good player, so with a little bit more fitness, a bit sharper, he'll, be, he'll have a good season, I'm sure, and hopefully he'll stay away from injury as well, which is another reason for doing it. Well, God didn't give this to everybody, and I've worked very hard for it, but I'm here and, you know, it's a blessing, really. I don't take it for granted, and that's the worst thing you can do when I was in Sheffield. I thought I may be taking it for granted, you know, it didn't work out there and it was kind of a wake-up call to me. So now, you know, I tend to work a lot harder and, and give my best every time, every time I step on court and every time I go in the weights room, especially over the summer. For all you kids out there, whatever you do, always give 100%, never take anything for granted and always remember, rule number one, enjoy yourself. Anyone interested in pursuing basketball can contact the Northwest Regional Basketball Centre at Reddish Vale Road, Stockport, Cheshire. That's the Northwest Regional Basketball Centre, Reddish Vale Road, Stockport, Cheshire. Or call them on 0161 477 7900.